So when people talk about life after the pandemic, they often say they'll never take the small things in life for granted. Okay, here you can see that this is an idiom. Okay, take something for granted. I don't know how many of you understand the meaning of this, but however, a lot of people miss this idiom, this phrase here. But however, this is a very commonly used, very popular phrase, idioms that people use it in their life. Okay. Going into the office. Okay, yes, going to the office and going into the office. Okay, it's a slightly different, you know, the meaning is slightly different here. Yeah, so uh, going into the office means you go, go into, go back into, okay? Yeah, but going to the office is kind of like you're talking about the, this action that you're going to the office. But going into the office, that means that you're actually sitting in front of your desk and working. Okay, going into the office, meeting friends for dinner, or just getting a haircut. So let's have a look. Take something for granted. It's an idiom, all right? Yeah, fail to properly appreciate somebody or something. Okay, fail to means you're not, you're not actually doing this uh, very well. Okay, fail to properly, properly means like perfectly, okay? 100%. Appreciating, showing thankful, showing thanks to someone or something. Okay, uh, especially as a result of over familiarity. Familiar means that that something that's not new, okay, that you have met or you have done something in, in the past and, uh, and this kind of rings a bell, okay? Wow, oh yeah, I, I have done this. I, we have met before, okay? So, so this is kind of like familiar. But however, what is over familiarity? It means you, you're having this all the time. Okay, you're, you're doing this all the time or you're having something all the time. You always have it since you were born and it's always there. So you're kind of like, uh, you kind of ignore it. Okay, so yeah, you, you, you took something for granted means you, uh, you see this uh, supposed to happen and you don't appreciate that. Okay, so let's have a look at this sentence. The problem with being an all-star. Okay, the problem with, this is what we call the formula expression is the heading of the sentence. Okay, this is the The problem with, okay, 常见的. Okay, so the problem with being an all-star. What is all-star? All-star means the most famous uh, athlete or superstar sportsman uh, like Kobe Bryant. So what's the problem with being an all-star? Okay, take a look. Is that good performances, 好的表现哦, good performances are taken for granted and people expect more. Okay, people always expect more from those superstars. Okay, so that's the problem. They, so they have to keep, you know, improving themselves and keep keep the good performance going, right? All right, so this is the first paragraph, all right? So this is kind of like setting the tone of the article. Yeah, people are, now they're talking about, okay, the life after the pandemic, and they don't want to take it for granted like, anymore, taking the small things in life for granted anymore. They want to appreciate those things more, okay? Yeah, such as like going into the office, meeting friends for dinner, and having haircuts. I want to talk about, what do people take for granted usually? I mean, what do you take for granted in life? Maybe Doing my family. Your family? Yeah. How, did you, how do you take your family for granted? I, my mom always cook, for, cook meat for uh, breakfast, but I never... Cook your dinner? You. you never say thank you? Yeah. Do you think your mom or your parents supposed to do those things for you? Do they supposed to give you money when you need it? Do you, if you want to buy a new iPhone, mom, give me an iPhone. I want a new iPhone. Do you think they're supposed to do this? I don't think they're supposed to do this, but maybe it's our culture, like Asian culture, not Very like good. American or Australian. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. That, I think that's the education. That's the culture thing, right? This is the... Uh, you know, especially just like Jenna, you just mentioned about in Asian culture, uh, parents or, or, you know, older relatives, they, they tend to spoil or provide or support or try to, yeah, they try to provide for their 
descendants, okay, their kids, their children, all right? Yeah, um, but however, in generally in American culture, most of the parents, they, they want their kids to be independent. They want them to appreciate the things they, they already have. And they, want to, they want them to work for the things they want. Okay, so they, they will appreciate everything they, they already have. So this is a two different concepts. Okay, very good, Janet. Yeah, you just point out the differences between uh, the, the Western culture and uh, Asian culture. You have to like go through uh, the definition, okay, the proper definition. Example sentence. Okay, so the country requires international support. Okay, the country requires 需要, 或者是, uh, 需求, okay? international support. International. international. I don't pronounce the T sound. I, I don't say international. Okay. It's international. Okay. So the T you can change it to just like silent. Okay. International support. To avoid sliding back. But into sliding back into poverty. Extremely poor, right? Oh, uh, just Does anyone want to read it? Or Owen, go ahead. So, how do you keep from sliding back into complacency? Very good. A few studies over simple way to keep appreciating the world around you. Very good. When we make an effort to notice our surroundings, or show appreciation for the people, place, mm -hmm. or things that make us happy. It's called severing. Scientists know that severing exercise can lead to meaningful gains in overall hap happiness and well-being. Bravo. Okay, very good. Thank you. Wow, Owen. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. All right. No problem. Just two people. Okay. I, I, I have noticed something. All right. Exercises. Exercises. Exercise. Okay. Exercises. Exercises. Okay. So when we read this long paragraph, we have to know how to kind of, you know, uh, separate them. Okay, separate them. But um, so how do you keep from sliding back into complacency? So how do you keep how do you keep from sliding back into complacency? So how do you keep from sliding back into complacency? Okay, so um a few studies offer a few studies offer, okay. 这边会,你要,心里面要有,不一定要断下,断掉,但是, a few studies offer simple ways to keep appreciating the world around you. Okay, simple ways to keep appreciating, keep appreciating, or keep, okay, keep appreciating the world around you. Okay, when we make an effort to notice, 断一下, our surroundings or show appreciation Okay, when we make an effort to notice our surroundings or show appreciation for the people, places, or things, that makes us happy. That makes us happy. Okay, that makes us happy. It's called savoring. Scientists know that savoring exercises can lead to, okay, savoring exercises can lead to meaningful gains in overall happiness and well-being, okay? So this is how you separate those things. It's not necessarily a comma. It's not a unit, a unit, a message. 
哦，它是一坨一坨一坨的讯息。好、哦，这样子你把它分开来，你你你在 process information 的时候会比较比较省力，不会不会觉得啊、哦、都很辛苦。All right， 因为好像一整坨很难分开来。